In this video, I'm going to be showing you the best and easiest ways to make money in GTA Online in 2021. Who am I? I'm just someone that's amassed over 1.7 billion legit in GTA Online in my 7 years of playing and owning every single business in the game and I've never been a grinder. So without further ado, let's get to it. Why can't you assholes be on time for once, eh? In GTA, you need to spend money to make it. I remember being down to my last $20,000 when the MC businesses came out after buying my coke factory but knew full well that it was an investment that would be paying me back. However, MC businesses are now trash and should be avoided at all costs, unless you like wasting your time. Another business which should be avoided is the warehouse crates, made popular by someone who absolutely sucks at the game. Hello YouTube, it's worth $8,000, sell that. <laughs> And definitely avoid the air freight cargo business as the missions take absolutely ages for very little payback. But now on to the businesses you do want. The first thing you need to buy is the Gasatka Submarine, starting at just $2.2 million. There are extras you can buy for this, rising to over $9 million, but if you're short of cash then just get this base model. With the Gasatka, you are now free to start the Keo Perico heist. The first time you do this can be daunting and take you hours to really get going. But it is, without doubt, the best legit money making method in the game. And if you want to make this money as fast as possible, I highly recommend my in-depth speedrun guide which has received rave reviews. I have been thinking, perhaps Mr. Rubio thinks we are finished with him. Now I'm going to break down the payments and tell you the best way to make the most money from this heist. Just ask my uncle. We first need to talk about hard mode and normal mode. To activate hard mode, you need to complete the KO finale and then wait between 5 and 10 minutes until you receive a message from Pavel to say that you can do it again. You then have 48 minutes to complete the gather intel mission and scope out the next primary target. This would break the neck of any woman except the Russian I think. If you get a target you don't like, simply go back to free mode, call up Pavel and cancel the heist. Good to hear from you, Captain. What can I do? You can do this as many times as you like within the 48 minute window. After that, the game will default the heist to normal mode. Hard mode is meant to be harder, but really it just means you can't die or you'll fail the mission. With normal mode, you have an extra life. The bonus for hard mode is that your primary target will pay out more and the elite challenge bonus will double from 50k to 100k. Now let's break down exactly how to make the most money. Arms out, let's go. There are four everyday primary targets you can get. Sinsimitu Tequila, Bearer Bonds, Ruby Necklace and the Pink Diamond. Tequila pays out the least amount of money at only 990,000 on hard mode. Bearer Bonds are next at 1.1 million. Ruby Necklace is just over 1.2 million. And the highest payment is the Pink Diamond at 1.43 million. To maximise your take on the island, you'll need to fill your loot bag. There are five different types of secondary loot. Cash and weed pay out the least amount of money and should be avoided where possible. Artwork is decent but can only be found in the compound and will usually require a second player to access it unless you're lucky enough to get them in a Rubio's office. With coke relatively easy to get as a solo player and will still pay out around 440k for a full loot bag. But the best money for secondaries is on gold which will bank you around half a million dollars. And remember, you'll need a full loot bag in order to complete the Elite Challenge and get your 100k bonus. Gold is only found inside the compound, which would usually require two players to access it via the key cards. However, using the solo door glitch, you can access the gold without anyone's help, but it is quite tricky and takes a lot of practice. Several days later. Taking all of this into consideration, the best way to complete the heist is as a two player as shown here in this breakdown which will net you the most money, with the four player heist paying out the least. The two player is also the easiest to complete as you can just go straight to the compound and not worry about travelling around the island. And don't forget that you can grab maybe another 90,000 from the safe in El Rubio's office. If you see anything you like on the way out, do not be shy, help yourself! is behind us and they still have no idea what's hit them. Now do business. There is one other property that you absolutely must own and it's the bunker. The best locations for the bunker are the Thompson Scrapyard and Chumash 
as they are right on the highways, making it much easier to deliver the goods. The reason the bunker is a must buy for making money is that it is what is known as passive income. Basically, the bunker will be making you money while you do close to nothing. This will leave you free to earn money elsewhere, like the aforementioned Cleo Perico heist. The main tip here is to never do the supply missions. Always buy the supplies. The supplies are 75,000, but this will save you over 30 minutes of grinding missions. And while you're doing these missions, your stock is not producing. For every $75,000 you spend, you'll be earning back $210,000, a pure profit of $135,000. To fill your bunker completely, it will cost $375,000, but you'll sell it for over a million, or when it's a double money week on bunkers, over two million. However, a full bunker will require at least two other helpers in order to complete the sale, depending on what selling mission you get. My advice is to sell once you produce one load of stock, as this means you will only need to deliver one vehicle. One bar of stock would take 2 hours and 20 minutes to produce, with a full bunker taking 11 hours. It may seem a lot, but remember, it's free money. The selling missions are pretty straightforward, normally completed within just a few minutes, with the trickiest one being against Merriweather. And I suggest doing these in quiet public lobbies to avoid griefers. Once you've earned your millions from the K Perico heist and bunker sales, there is one more investment you must make, and that is the nightclub. The nightclub is another passive income business, much like the bunker, but it does require you to own some other feeder businesses. These include the hangar and crate warehouse, the bunker, as well as the five MC businesses of coke, meth, weed, cash, and document forgery business. However, the maximum number of employees you can have working on the product from these businesses is five, so you only need the best five. As you can see from this chart, the top five that will earn you the most money are coke, warehouse or hangar, meth, bunker, and counterfeit cash. I'll leave it up to you to decide whether to buy a warehouse or a hangar, but the benefit of a hangar is that you can store your flying vehicles in it. Apart from having to splash out quite a substantial amount of cash to really reap the rewards, it also takes close to 67 hours of in-game time to fill it up. But like the bunker, it's a long-term investment that will pay itself back, with a full nightclub sale hitting 1.5 million. However, the selling missions are even easier than the bunker missions, where every mission would always be just one vehicle, regardless of the size of the sale. When I sold a full bunker for double money and then a full nightclub straight after, I made over $3.6 million in under 15 minutes. Location for your nightclub isn't massively important as you won't really be using it that much, but I would suggest getting one in the city center for ease of access. Price wise, they start at just over a million, but do take into consideration that it will be more than double that to upgrade it fully. When buying the other businesses, just buy the cheapest as you'll just be using them to feed your nightclub and not worrying about running them simultaneously. One more tip is going to your security cameras in your nightclub, bunker or elsewhere and simply watching the footage. This will ensure your character is not kicked for being idle, leaving you free to keep your product turning over while you're AFK. Just be sure to retire as CEO or MC so you don't get raided. And that's it really. How much you want to make depends on how much you want to do. But I've been relying on bunker and nightclub businesses for a steady income for years and just enjoying various heists and other fun modes in the meantime. That was a master class. So if you found this video useful, please leave a like and a comment and maybe consider subscribing. I'm Beats Down and I'll see you in the next one.